Well, good evening, everybody. Happy New Year and welcome along to the Mustafa Kemal Ataturk Karsiaka Sports Salonu as the Basketball Champions League is back in full flow after a very short break over Christmas. And we are now into the business end of the group phase with teams batting it out over the next few weeks for a spot in the much coveted playoff positions. Tonight we are focusing on Group F and Pinar Karsiaka take on Fortitudo Bologna of Italy. Well, Pinar Karsiaka, who are one and two at the moment, will remain in contention for a spot in the playoffs, even if they were to lose tonight. Whereas Fortitude of Bologna will drop out of the race unless they win here this evening. So uh, a big game for Bologna especially. It is the uh, only game today in this group. Last game that we saw, Bros Bamberg, who uh, beat Bilbao 77 points to 71. So, yeah, Fortitude of Bologna have to win tonight to make sure that they remain in contention for the playoff positions, whereas uh, Pinar Kasiaka, even if they were to lose here, they could still qualify. This is how Group F looks at the moment. Bros Bamberg, they have already booked their spot in the playoffs. They are 4-0. and They've been magnificent so far in the Basketball Champions League. Retabet Bilbao in second. They're 2-2. Two and two. Pinar Kasiaka and Fortitude of Bologna, though, they uh, both have this game to play so uh, it is Kasiaka in third at the moment and Bologna in the last spot in Group F. Well Kasiaka are coming off an 84-72 road win at Besiktas in the Turkish BSL League action on Saturday. Fortitudo were also victorious on the road at the weekend as we just have a look at their roster. And they'll be looking towards the likes of uh, Adrian Banks, who has been doing plenty of damage. Dario Hunt as well. Banks, who's averaging 13.5 points per game. As for Pinar Kasiaka. He yeah, only played the three games so far under the stewardship of uh, Ufik Sarika. And this is how their roster is currently looking. So the likes of uh, Raymar Morgan, who leads the team points per game, 18.3 points per game. Tony Taylor there leading the team in assists, 4.7 assists a game. And uh, DJ Kennedy, who has been crashing the board, seven rebounds a game so far in the Basketball Champions League for DJ Kennedy. Well, of course, Fortitudo Bologna, they uh, initially were led by Romeo Sacchetti, who took the reins of the team. But back on uh, the 6th of December, the club announced that they had decided to part ways with the veteran tactician. The next day, they appointed Luca Del Monte as their new head coach. So uh, the 57-year-old Italian had worked as an assistant coach at Fortudos uh, during a, a five-year span back in the 90s. So he's back on a, a familiar hunting ground these days. So the visiting side will just be introduced here. Yeah, Fortudo picked up a, a good win on the roads domestically at the weekend. They uh, beat Cantu 80 points to 67, 19 points from Leonardo Tote and 18 from Adrian Banks. And Pinar Kasiak here, 84 points to 72 road win at Besiktas in the Turkish BSL. Amatun Bay went off for 28 points. He had an efficiency rating of 31 on the weekend, so they'll be hoping for much more of the same from uh, Matt and Bai here this evening. And for uh, Sarika, the head coach of Pinar Kasiaka, of course, a former player here, spent one year at Kasiaka between 2001 and 2002, and then took over the reins as their head coach back in the summer of last year, signed a three-year deal with Pinar Kasiaka back in June 
of uh, 2019, I should say, not last year, of course, now in 2021. And second spell in charge as uh, coach here as well for Sirico. Spent four years between 2012 and 2016. Karsiaka playing host to an Italian team for the fourth time in Basketball Champions League history. They've got a 2-1 and one record against teams from Italy when they play here in Turkey. Their largest ever win in the BS uh, BCL was actually against Italian opposition. That came all the way back in 2016. They beat Umana Rea Venezia by 40. It was 99 points to 59 on that occasion. But of course, they are currently on a two-game losing skid in the Basketball Champions League. So they are looking to try and prevent a three-game loss in a row, something that they've never done, actually, in the Basketball Champions League. Of course, Bologna Fortitudo, who are missing their key man, Ethan Happ. He's currently sidelined through injury, so they're going to have to try and do it without Hap here this evening. He's been magnificent in this competition, averaging 19 points a game and 10 rebounds a game as well coming into this one. So an efficiency rating of 25 per game for Ethan Hap. So yeah, they're going to have to try and do it without him. These are the three officials for us today. Nicola Maestre from France. Have uh, Zdravko Rutasic of Montenegro and also Peter Husa from the Czech Republic. So there's still a few games to get through. So we just have a look at the Bologna starting five. So they go with Banks, Palumbo, Withers, Sabatini, and Hunt to start off with. And there is the man who has uh, been in charge for, well, nearly a month to the day, the 6th of December, Luca Del Monte took over Fortitudo Bologna. As for Pinar Kasiaka, they go with uh, Morgan Bittim, Tony Taylor, Sek Henry and uh, Matt Mbai. Mbai, as I mentioned, coming into this one off that... Uh, Incredible game domestically on the weekend, 28 points. So that is how the home side line up to uh, get this one underway. So yeah, both of these game uh, teams have only played three games compared to uh, the other two teams in Group F who have both played four. Of course, a slightly different system this season with uh, the COVID-19 complications so uh, had to be a complete change of the format change in the uh, the number of games that each team plays so after this one both of these two sides will actually play again next week but uh, back in Italy and then they'll both have one game left to play each right at the end of January. Pinar Kasiaka will take on uh, Retitat Bilbao at home. And uh, of course Bologna who will host Pinar Kasiaka next week. And then on uh, the 27th of January, they will travel to Bros Bamberg. And I suppose the only good thing for Bologna in that sense is if they can win here this evening, they know that Bros Bamberg have already qualified, so uh, motivation perhaps may not be quite where it should be. But this is the big one for Bologna. They have to win here this evening to stand any chance of qualifying through to the playoffs. So they've got to be on it. They've got to be at it right from the start. And they've got to try and do it without their key man as well. Ethan Happ, sidelines through injury. You look at most of the stats coming into this one and a lot of them are in favour of Pinar Kasiaka. Big difference in the three-point field goal percentage between these two teams. Kasiaka averaging 27%, whereas 
Bologna are down at just 17%. Better two-point field goal percentage as well for the Turkish side. And a big difference between these two teams, the number of turnovers. Something that Bologna are really going to have to look out for here this evening. They average 17 turnovers a game compared to just nine for Pinar Karciaka. So <coughs> big difference there. And we are off and running. First basketball Champions League game for both of these two sides in 2021. And as I mentioned, turnovers, they immediately throw it away. And uh, just can't quite get the left hand uh, layup. Bit him. Palumbo. Foul is called. Nice pass out to the corner. First look at a three is no good. We love just to get a few threes dropping early on here. Fortitudo try and get that confidence up. I'm sure there's been a lot of work on that over the last few weeks. Would have had a little bit of time off over the Christmas period, but not a huge amount. Three from Pinakashiaka is no good either. And here come Bologna again. Capable hands of Gerardo Sabatini. Drives inside. Good defense though from Pinakashiaka. Here they come again, it's a beautiful pass, and uh, has it stolen out of his hands. Yeah, calls of a travel, but nothing given. So the first points belong to Fortitudo Bologna. Dario Hunt, the man who makes the layup, Todd Withers with the assist. He'll just about get away with that one. Bitim is able to pick up the loose ball. And then the foul is called. <laughs> nice pass. Gets the layup to go in traffic. Nicely done from... Raymar Morgan, who's been their standout performer, really, in the Basketball Champions League so far this season. Leading the way on the offensive end. Here is Palumbo to Banks. Trying to twist and turn to the hoop, and in doing so, draws the foul. Dario Hunt. So foul goes on Morgan, and the first trip to the free throw stripe. Another big difference between these two teams coming into this game as well. The free throw percentage, Pinar Karciaka averaging 72.6% from the foul line, whereas Fortitudo Bologna just 52.3%, so they really need to try and improve that that's just not good enough averaging just about 50 percent from the foul line they've given it away again here pnl karciaka it's not been a particularly fluent start from the home side trying to line up a mid-range jumper mattia palumbo off target Morgan, oh, what a pass from Morgan. And thrown down with authority. Bit him with the dunk, but it was all made because of the pass from Raymar Morgan. Banks just loses his footing. Able to keep hold of the ball, though. Now Palumbo. Another three is on the way, and this time it goes. Todd Withers knocking it down from long range. 
As I said, that is exactly what Fortitudo Bologna were after. Looking to try and respond with a three of their own. Just comes up short, though, Amatumbai. And the rebound by Mattia Palumbo. Mr. Palumbo draws the foul. Banks to inbounds into Palumbo again. Banks, great bounce pass from Banks. Oh, how about that for some defense, though? What a block that was. Now at the other end of the floor, whistle goes. And Matt and Bai, though, let's just have a little look at this. Try to dunk all over him, but says, not in my house. Still 15 seconds on the shot clock here. Morgan into Tony Taylor. Taylor, well, no one was on him, and he just says, why not throw the three completely uncontested from the top of the key. And Tony Taylor off and running today, levels this game up. It's Banks again. Another three is on the way, a little too much on this one. Tony Withers, can't blame him, he'd already made one three. Just about able to keep hold of it, Morgan now to Tony Taylor. Pull up jump shot is no good. Halfway through the opening quarter here. Karsiaka seven, Fortitudo Bologna nine. Courtesy of Adrian Banks, who knocks down his first jump shot of this game. It's Taylor. That's a great pass, and the foul is called. And he will head to the line and shoot two. Foul goes on Banks. Banks isn't too happy with the decision there. He thought that he was pretty fair in that. He kind of understand his point. Looked as though he got all ball there. That's the, the block down the other end of the floor that we saw from a mat and bite. So it makes both from the foul line. Once again, levels it up. Nine points each. Four and a half to go in this opening quarter. Here is Sabatini. Banks helps it on. Good perimeter defense here. Spins to the baseline and nice finish on the reverse. Dario Hunt's had a really good start to this game. He is up to six. On the left-hand layup, oh, he gets it to go. It was a difficult shot from Raymar Morgan, who, much like Dario Hunt, has had a good start. And is also up to six, two for two from the field so far today. Sabatini, now Banks. Banks throws it out. Top of the key, the three is no good. Tony Taylor grabs the rebound. Now Sek Henry, Sek Henry just clears out the runway and leaps into life. And Kasiaka have the lead for the first time in this game. Shooting that too well, aren't they, so far, as is Adrian Banks, who knocks that one down. Two for two from the field, 13 points each, just over three to go in this first quarter.
Henry. Now Amatu Bai. Nice pass from him by and an easy, easy layup. Banks again, seen plenty of the ball early stages here. Good ball movement this from Bologna. Finds himself underneath and he was fouled. Just see a slap down the left arm. No complaints there. Absolutely nothing between them at the moment. Dario Hunt. Good from the line. Hunt will just have a rest. throw it back outside but foul goes on Palumbo DJ Kennedy on the floor for the first time today Just look out for him crashing those boards leading the team in rebounds DJ Kennedy it's good penetration but it's strong defense too strong though Foul is called on uh, Marco Cousin. <laughs> so Cousin called on his first foul. Some in the bonus. Matumbai. Which makes the game look scarily easy at times, does Matumbai. Such a key part of this team. Perfect from the stripe. And once again, Pinar Kasiaka have the lead. Still just a one possession game. Plenty of lead changes in the opening quarter here. Nearly able to get the steal there. The shot clock is counting down to three, hence the reason the three-point shot went up. And now the fast break is on. And by good pass from him, drives inside, is fouled. Now we'll head to the line and shoot two. And it's Kusin again who is called on the foul. Yeah, I think it was uh, Tommaso Baldasso who was called on it. Kennedy makes the first. Really good pressure being applied here from Pino Kashiaka. Is there any way through? The shot clock is counting down to four. It's a brilliant defensive possession, but in the end, they do draw the foul for Tichudo Bologna. Thought they'd done everything right here, the home side.
So Marco Kusin at the foul line. No problems really from the stripe so far for Bologna. Mentioned their struggles coming into this game. Shooting that free throw at just over 50%. Now he makes them both. Leads back down to two. Just about a minute and 20 seconds to go in this first quarter. And they've got the steal as well here. Bologna straight into the hands of Sabatini. Baldasso, the man with the steal. And an offensive foul has been called. Marco Kusin has been called on it. He's been uh, pretty heavily involved in the action since coming on. Just an illegal screen. Kusin, second foul of this game. Oh, that's big defense. This time from Kusin, the man who turned it over with the offensive foul, but he was able to make up for it down the other end of the floor. Here he is again. Back outside. Sabatini, Sabatini out to the corner. Turns down to three, drives inside, throws up that left-hand hook shot. Couldn't get it to go, and we've got about five seconds between the shot and the game clock here. There's a mat and by, and by, can he get the roll? No, he can't. And the last possession may well belong to Bologna. Sabatini looking to try and go coast to coast, throws it back out to Baldasso. Baldasso off the pick and roll. And uh, the rebound is taken under, throws it out. And can't get it to go from the half court, and the buzzer goes. Signify the end of the opening quarter. Pinar Kasiaka, who lead Fortitudo Bologna 19 points to 17 after one. Kasiaka shooting that too well, 56%. Shooting the three a little bit better, both sides 100% from the foul line so far. Let's have a look at the highlights from the first quarter. So a close opening quarter between Pinar Kasiaka and Fortitudo Bologna. Just a reminder that Bologna have to win here this evening to stand any chance of qualifying through to the playoffs. Pinar Kasiaka under slightly less pressure today. They know that even if they were to lose, they could still qualify through. But a win would put them in a great position, and it's the perfect start to the second quarter as well for the Turkish side. It's uh, Erden who makes his first points of the game, and Matan Bay with the assist, and the lead is four, equals the biggest lead that Pinar Kasiaka have had so far in this game. Banks looks to try and put it back to two, offensive rebounds. Tries to 
feed it in to uh, Marco Kusin. Draws the foul. Foul goes on Erden. Another 14 seconds on the clock here for Bologna. Kusin into Baldasso. Baldasso, what a pass that was from Baldasso to Kusin. And the foul is called. Doesn't look too happy about it. They will turn it over here. She stepped out of bounds. Leonardo Tote. He's in by. Semir Erden. No, Berson. Oh, that's a completely open look. Might be a little disappointed that he wasn't able to get closer. And now the fast break is on into Kusin. Kusin too heavy handed with the layup. Got away with one there, did. Pinakashiaka. Now a Matin Bai looking to try and punish them down the other end of the floor. He was fouled on his way up. And it'll be a trip to the foul line. Nice pass, wasn't it, from Mbai. And uh, Semir Erden, who's had a good start to this second quarter, will head to the stripe and shoot a couple. Foul goes on Leonardo Tote. So Tony Taylor will come back in. Amatan Bai just checks out of the game for the time being. It's again going for this high press here. Pino Kalsiaka, their lead is just beginning to grow. It's up to six, biggest lead of the game so far. Here's Baldasso. Now Palumbo. Palumbo has a poor pass. Can't afford these cheap turnovers for the Tudor Bologna. Tony Taylor. Tony Taylor just springs into life, gets it to go, and one. Big time play from Tony Taylor, who just saw the gap and somehow got that left hand layup to go. And it'll be a chance for Taylor. For a three point play, Marco Kusin again called on the foul. And a timeout has been called. Not sounding particularly happy with his Bologna side. Tony Taylor at the foul line here. Try and complete on that three-point play. Which he does. Lovely arc, wasn't it, to that? Free throw from Taylor, the lead is up to nine. Oh, 
is Baldasso. Baldasso again looking to try and somehow make that layup. It's another miss though for Bologna, who just have not got started in the second quarter and uh, big air ball from beyond the arc. And that's really good from Adrian Banks. Banks is a live wire, always looking to try and make things happen. He's up to six, three for four from the field. Gets the lead back to seven, Taylor. Have another go from three-point range, and this time he nails it. Didn't get anywhere near with uh, the, the three-point shot just a couple of moments ago. Metacam Bursen we made sure of this one. And they've turned it over again here. He's got so much time to make the three. Tony Taylor will be disappointed that he didn't make it back to back threes for Pinar Karsiaka. The lead is a double-digit one for the first time, though. 29 points to 19 in a must-win game for Fortitudo Bologna. Catch and shoot and make. It's nice off that inbound pass. Tommaso Baldasso with his first points of this game. Here's DJ Kennedy. Trying to find a way through. Last touch was off a Karsiaka hand, so uh, Fortitudo Bologna will get it. Let's have a look here. And yeah, I think that was the right call. Just came off uh, Semir Erden, who did his best to try and fool the officials. So the lead is eight. Has been as big as ten. Here is Baldasso. Really intense on the defensive end here. Uh, Pinar Kashiaka, three-point shot is nowhere near. Now the fast break may be on for Pinar Kashiaka, led by DJ Kennedy. Good transitional defense, though, by Bologna. Here is Son Serma. Son Serma, it's a nice pass, although he's turned it over. And now the uh, break down the other end. Oh, he's missed it. Just took his eye off the layup, and in the end, does brilliant defense. That is a big let off for Pinar Karsiaka. That really should have been a very simple two points. It was uh, Todd Withers, I think, who missed it after Dario Hunt had missed a very simple layup. So Baldasso. Called on his second foul. Another 14 seconds on the clock here for Pinar Karsiaka into Tony Taylor. Taylor with the little up fake on, throws up the floater and gets it to fall. Another really difficult shot from Tony Taylor. He is looking in good rhythm. He's made one with the right hand and one with the left hand now has Taylor. And he's now been called on the foul. <laughs> Now the loose ball is able to be recovered, but then a travel is called, and they will turn it over again here, Bologna. So 
So a chance for Karsiaka to just keep extending this lead. Five minutes and 11 seconds to go in this first half as uh, Pinar Karsiaka called timeout. So Pinar Kasiaka going along nicely here. They lead by 10, but just over five minutes to go in this first half. We put the Turkish side in a really promising position to make the playoffs if they were to win this game here today. Kicks it back outside. The three goes up, the three goes down. And the lead continues to grow. Just what they wanted, fresh out of that timeout. Extend the lead to 13, looking to make it 10, and he does. Great response after Sek Henry made his three. Bologna goes straight down the other end and make one of their own. Taylor tries to bank it in and does. Looking great, Tony Taylor. Four for five from the field. Another little floating jump shot from him. Catches his own rebound, throws it out, looks for back-to-back -back threes. And Todd Withers is in a really nice rhythm here. Back-to-back -back for Bologna, back-to-back -back for Withers. He's up to nine. All nine have come from beyond the arc. And that lead back to single digits again. Taylor just about managed to find Amatun Bai. And Bai, it's great penetration from Amatun Bai. Just found a way through. Nice soft touch at the hoop. And Bai up to four. He's Banks. Palumbo, nice pass from Palumbo, and the foul is called. And it'll be a trip to the line. Foul on Sec Henry. Every one of these becomes so important, especially when you find yourselves 11 points down already in a must-win game. Leonardo Tote off target with the first. And off target with the second. Manages to keep it alive. Sec Henry now. Still six seconds left on the shot clock. Henry pulls up, throws the three, throws an air ball. Straight into the hands of DJ Kennedy, though. Be frustrated that he didn't make that layup, but then it's just thrown out of bounds by Adrian Banks.
Taylor. Travel called, so be another turnover. Goes on uh, a mat and bite. Eleven point lead, two and a half to go in this first half. Sabatini. Banks. Good pass from Banks as well to find Dario Hunt. Hunt into double digits. Personal, ten points for him. Three for seven from the field. Now Kennedy goes in. Can't get it to go. Oh, I thought he'd grab the offensive rebound, but he's done well. And the foul is called. I'll tell you what, if Fortitudo Bologna could get into this half-time break, only, say, five or six down, I think they'll be pretty happy with that, considering one stage they trailed by 12, and it was uh, looking a little ominous. Spins to the baseline, good defence, has to kick it back out. Now the three goes up, but no good. Rebound by Dario Hunt. Another chance for Bologna to try and eat into this lead. A lead that is only seven now. Here is Adrian Banks. Nice pass from Banks. The three is, just comes up short. And the defensive rebound. Oh, but they've turned it over. That's poor ball handling. And now the fast break is on. Throws up the alley-oop. Boy, oh, can't get it. That would have been special. For here come Pino Kashiaka down the other end of the floor with a Madam Bai. And Bai goes past Banks. Good defense by Bologna. Just about 60 seconds to go in this first half. Gerardo Sabatini into Banks. Back to Sabatini. Sabatini looking to try and weave a way through. Thought he'd managed to bank it in, but the foul is actually called on Sabatini. And they will turn it over. That was the block down the other end of the floor from uh, Dario Hunt. Seven point game. Nineteen fourteen in this quarter in favour of the home side is Tony Taylor. Nice pass from Taylor, extra one, three-pointer, goes in! Nice time to make the three. And it just gives them that double-digit lead again. DJ Kennedy, his first shot from beyond the arc. And it is a good one. There's literally a, a second or so between the shot and the game clock here. Banks, can he finish off the half in style? Banks throws up the three, comes up way short, and the buzzer goes to bring to an end the first half here in Turkey. So far, so good for Pinar Karsiaka. They will be pretty happy with the way that they've played, the way that they've shot the ball at half time. It's Pinar Karsiaka 41, Fortitudo Bologna 31.
what a move by Sharma. Welcome back here to... Here's Hunt, oh, what a bounce pass that was. Take a bow, Bennett Hunt, what a dish. and throwing it down was Kaiser. As we go into the new year, Dos Anjos with the thunder one hand. What a roll to the basket and what a finish by that young man. Another offensive rebound for him. Keeps the ball at this end. Oh, and the thunder is done. Picks up right where he left off from the last game. Maxson. Now coming from behind in the alley who passed to the tug by Allman. My goodness me. Play D and you gotta box out if you're pedestary. Oh, Jefferson is gonna take it. Oh, crazy! He takes the three early and he drills it. He had been ice cold. Look at this. Blazinski looking for options, drives behind the back for the beautiful pass on a dish. And finished by Roman Zimanski. Great pass. Into the hands of Reyes. Oh, what a pass off the hardwood from Reyes. And the finishes with the one-handed flush. Strong move by the Lithuanian. Corner, just about stayed in bounds. That's a beautiful bounce pass. Oh, get out of my way, says David Kravish. That is huge. Just dunks all over him.
So welcome back, everybody, to Turkey. Pinar Karsiaka are currently uh, doing what they have to do against Fortitudo Bologna. They are up by 10 at half time here. Both of these sides have uh, only played three games so far in the Basketball Champions League. Fortitudo Bologna are potentially one half away from not being able to seal their spot in the playoffs in uh, just about a month's time or so. They have to win here this evening to stand any chance to keep their hopes alive. And they're going to have to try and fight back from a 10-point deficit at half-time. Tony Taylor has led the way for Pinar Kasiaka. He's got 10, 4 for 5 from the field. He was uh, deep in conversation with uh, Ufek Sarika just a few moments ago. And Dario Hunt, the man who is been doing the damage for Bologna he's got 10 but has been ably supported by the likes of Todd Withers certainly from beyond the arc he is three for three is uh, Todd Withers Adrian Banks also six points three assists three rebounds what can they find in this second half it is going to be Bologna to start us off Karsiaka can't guarantee their spot in the playoffs with a win, but they can go mightily close to doing just that. And of course, these two teams will then play each other once again in a week's time. Pinar Karsiaka will travel to Bologna. They haven't played each other as yet in the Basketball Champions League. Last touch was off Bologna, so Pinar Karsiaka will get it back. Really need to improve that two-point field goal percentage, though, to Bologna. It's just not good enough. It wasn't good enough, really, coming into this game. Spoke about it before the game actually started. It's a nice start from Bologna. Uh, from Pinakashiaka, excuse me. Yeah, so far in this game, 35% from two-point range for Fortitudo Bologna. So they need to improve that. They need to try and get away from these cheap turnovers. 
It's their ninth turnover in this game. Six for Pino Kasiaka. Banks called on his second. Here's Tony Taylor. Taylor did well just to keep his footing and also find the hands of Morgan as well. Foul is called. So Sabatini called on his third. So he's just got to start being a little bit more careful now. Here is Sonserma. Sonserma thinks about just doing it all himself. Throws up an air ball though. Adrian Banks grabs the rebound, but great work from Sonserma to steal it straight back. Sonserma into the hands of DJ Kennedy. It's good uh, defense in the end actually from Bologna. Just forced Kennedy back away from the hoop. And it's on Surma again. That's a beautiful pass, isn't it? What a pass. Easy layup. So Raymar Morgan. Five for five from the field so far. Raymar Morgan. 12 points, three rebounds, two assists. And Matt Mbai with his eighth assist of this game. Three pointer is off target. Tony Taylor with his third rebound. Went off domestically, Prince-wise on the weekend, did a mat and buy. Well, he's going off assist-wise here this evening with eight. Hasn't shot the ball too well. He's only one for seven from the field, but if he keeps dishing them out, they won't care. The lead is 14. It's the biggest lead of the game so far. Three is good from Mattia Palumbo. Well, they need that. They need that in spades right now. Fortitudo Bologna. Tony Taylor, though, straight down the other end of the floor. No good. Rebound by Dario Hunt. His third. Chance to try and get it back to potentially a single-digit game. Sabatini into Hunt again. Hunt trying to work away. Offensive rebound back to Dario Hunt, and Hunt makes... No mistake with the second layup. And that lead is back down to 10. Very nearly had it stolen out of his hands there. DJ Kennedy. Kennedy to a match and by he lines up the three and count it. Seven points, eight, re uh, eight assists and one rebound so far for a match and by. Here is Dario Hunt into Adrian Banks. Drives to the baseline, tries to throw one up on the reverse with his left hand, but draws the foul. And uh, Gerardo Sabatini will head to the line and shoot two. So Tony Taylor heads to the bench. Sek Henry back on the floor for Pinar Kasiaka. Like a little jack in the box is Luca on the sideline. Been around for a long time, but still as passionate as ever. Both sides doing a, a good job when they get to the foul line. Pinakashiaka are 100% uh, perfect at the moment. That's a nice jump shot. Raymar Morgan just cannot miss. 14 points, set Henry with the assists. to go back outside, Sabatini, Sabatini to Banks, Banks catches, shoots and makes. Adrian Banks for three is a good one. And the lead is back to 10.
just play at their own tempo here. Pino Karsiaka got that 10-point lead. Now Matabai, he's made one three in this quarter, just couldn't quite make the second. Offensive rebound though, back outside, DJ Kennedy lines this one up. And again, just off target, couple of let-offs there for Bologna. Now Adrian Banks down the other end of the floor. Banks, nice pass from Banks. Great defense, though, from Pinar Karsiaka. Now the fast break is on. And Madam Bai, and Bai, great pass. And as quick as a flash, they're up the other end of the floor. And Raymar Morgan makes yet another two. He is up to 16. Well, they need all of these. They get another one to go. So Adrian Banks made a three just a moment ago. And now Mattia Palumbo knocking one down. Single digit lead. Has been as big as 14. Finds a way through. Now DJ Kennedy right on the buzzer. Just comes up short. Banks again, Banks draws the foul. <laughs> so Zach Henry called on his third foul. Again, another who's just got to be slightly careful going forward now. Tommaso Baldasso and uh, Marco Cusin are back on the floor for Bologna. Dario Hunt and Adrian Banks have checked out. And here is Cusin. It's a bit of a handful in that first half was Marco Cusin on both ends of the floor. Here he is now. Strong rebounds from Amatum Bai. Far off. A double double today, Amatin Bai, seven points and nine rebounds. That uh, nine assists, excuse me, two rebounds. Here's Mbai, lines up the three. And Mbai is up to ten. And one more assist will indeed make it a double double for Amatin Bai. What a game he's having so far. Palumbo now, Palumbo, no way through. Now Son Serma can lead the fast break back to. And by it just hits him by his foot though. They turn it over. Sabatini just slows it down. Sabatini to Palumbo. Palumbo's made one three from the opposite corner. And he's now made another. And again, that lead is back down to nine. They are just doing a good job at the moment for Tichudo Bologna of staying in touch, just hanging around. Here's Henry. Bai throws it away cheaply. Another turnover, another chance to try and reduce the deficit here. Kusin. Sabatini now. Sabatini, good pass to Kusin. Back out, Palumbo. He's got the hot hand from three point range, but just couldn't quite get that one to fall. And we've got just over two minutes to go in this third quarter. Here's Mbai. Henry. Sonserma is at way short on that three. Aldasso. Back out to Baldasso, extra pass out to the corner. Great ball movement that from Bologna and it's a shame that couldn't quite knock down the open three. It's good patient possession though from the visiting side. Just waited for the moment, waited for the free shot. It's Henry again. Henry throws it out of bounds. They've just been a little sloppy in possession for the last 60 seconds or so, have uh, Karsiaka. Well, 
Dasso. It's another very cheap turnover, and it's Marco Kusin again. Second time he's been called on a foul exactly like that, an offensive foul. Marco Kusin. Bitim is back on the floor here for Karsiaka. 60 seconds to go in the third. Good defense, though, this time from Kusin. Still, that lead is nine. Sabatini throws it back outside. Oh, and a big three. Big three. And that lead, all of a sudden, is just six. Baldasso, the man who knocks it down, and Pinar Karsiaka perhaps a little complacent when they went out to that big lead. Pinar Karsiaka, they had a chance to try and just seal the deal right there. Remember, they led by 14 earlier on in this quarter. And thanks to that two from uh, Sek Henry there, it is back up to eight. But Fortitudo Bologna are very much invested back into this game. So Henry heads to the bench. Yunus Sonserma comes back in. So 5.3 seconds to go. Sonserma, the man, called on the foul. Need to inbound it, and they do just about in time to Leonardo Tote. Shot clock is down to one. Tote just has to throw it up, and in the end, he's called on the travel, and that was not a particularly good possession there from Bologna. And the buzzer goes, end of the third quarter. And Bologna, well, they've done a good job. They trail by 14 at one stage, but at the end of three, they trail by just eight. Pinar Karsiaka, 57, for the judo Bologna, 49. Still a good number from two-point range for Karsiaka, 56%. For Tudor Bologna, their three-point shot, though, is helping them out. The seven for 16 from three-point range. Still won't be happy with that two-point field goal percentage, though. And here are the highlights from the third.
So final quarter. Pinar Kasiaka leading by eight for Tatula Bologna. Have to win, remember. Big quarter coming up for the Italian side. Kasiaka with the opening possession. And the three is just off target. So an immediate opportunity here for Bologna to start trying to get a little bit closer. Drives to the baseline, throws it back outside. Todd Withers shot the three pretty well today. Banks, shot clock was counting down, so had to throw the three way off target, though. And Tony Taylor grabs the rebounds. Good opening defensive possession from uh, Pinar Kasiaka. Not a particularly good opening offensive possession. Offensive foul. Called on uh, Metekan Bersen. Here is Palumbo. Well, they know if they can just get this lead back down to four, five. Kasiaka will be just beginning to feel the nerves. Withers has made plenty of threes today, but can't make a fourth. And now Tony Taylor can bring it forward here for Pinar Kasiaka, just slowing it down. Taylor throws it out to Seth Henry. Big, strong rebound as well. Here is Banks. Now Withers. Withers had it stripped out of his hands. Good defense again from the home side. Henry lining up the three. This time they get it to go. Metekan Bersen. He's up to six, the lead is back up to 11. And that will be the plan for Karsiaka, just to try and keep it at a double-digit game. Don't give them even half a chance of getting back into this. They look to try and respond, though, with the three of their own, and Leonardo Tote knocks one down. Here's Henry. Draws the foul. The foul goes on Adrian Banks. So they'll get a 14 second reset. Henry. Oh, Henry has thrown it away. And now the fast break is on. Henry's tried to get back. Great transitional defense from Sec Henry. He was the man who turned it over initially, but how quickly did he react? And then came to his side's rescue up the other end of the floor. Difficult looking shot that. Just did enough, didn't it? Henry. Didn't foul, didn't get the block, but his presence enough to prevent the layup going in. So eight point leads for Pinar Kasiaka. And for the Tudor Bologna call timeout.
So at the moment, Pinar Karsiak are doing enough. And they are leading by eight, 60 points to 52. First game for both of these sides in the Basketball Champions League in 2021. And we've got just under seven minutes to go in this one. Bittim called on his third foul. Sabatini. Now Baldasso for three. Just a little too much on it. Dario Hunt just did enough, I think, to get that uh, offensive rebound. And now it's out to Todd Withers. And Withers makes yet another three today. All 12 of his points have come from beyond the arc. Four for eight from three-point range. And that lead is just five. Morgan looks to try and make a three of his own. Can't get it to go, but they've got the offensive rebounds. Here's Tony Taylor now. Taylor out to set Henry. Henry for three, off target. Oh, it's brilliant. Just came from nowhere. Metakan Bursen and put it back. And the lead is back up to seven. It's been a good free-flowing game. This one so far, he's not happy. He thought that they'd got the steal there, but just came off his leg. So Bologna will keep it. And that's thrown away. Sec Henry, now Tony Taylor. Burson, a little up fake from Morgan, but he's then called on the travel. Another turnover. Right in front of the referee's nose. Five minutes, 19 seconds to go. Bologna called timeout again. So Bologna are still right in this game. Pino Kasiaka have led by as many as 14. But at the moment, they lead by seven. And we've got just about five minutes to go. Withers. Just want to try and get Withers an open look from beyond the arc. That's good work, though, from Dario Huntu. I think thought he was fouled when he made that right-hand hook shot. And the lead is back to five, Hunt is up to 14. Kicks it out to the corner, Taylor is there, and Taylor connects. Big time three from Tony Taylor, he's up to 13. And once again, just a little bit more wind comes out of the Bologna sails, lead back up to eight. Difficult looking shot, 
And very nearly got the roll. Offensive rebound, though. Great work from Dario Hunt again. Oh, back comes uh, Matt Mbai for Pinar Karsiaka, who is one assist away from a double-double today. Ten points, nine assists, three rebounds for Mbai. The lead is six. Can they get another stop here and really start to pile the pressure on Karsiaka? He drives to the baseline, has to throw it back outside to Taylor. The shot clock is... Down to four, Sec Henry for three, and Henry makes it. It was Tony Taylor just a few moments ago, and now it's Sec Henry. It's another dagger to the heart for Fortitudo Bologna, but they come straight back and answer with the three of their own. Tommaso Baldasso knocks it down and gets it back to a six-point game. Three and a half minutes to go. Just cannot shake them off here, Pinar Karsiaka. Here's Mbai. Henry again, lines it up. Oh, and Sek Henry has just gone ballistic. Back-to-back -back threes for Sek Henry. He's up to 13. The lead is up to nine. Dario Hunt is doing his best here to just try and keep Bologna in it. <laughs> Foul is called on Hunt. So Hunt called on his first foul. I think he thought that he should have had a few fouls of his own up the other end of the floor. A couple of twos that he's made. He's thought that he was fouled as uh, Tony Taylor just couldn't quite make that jump shot. So the lead stays at seven. Two minutes, 20 seconds to go. Sabatini. Now Baldasso. Dasso drives inside, good finish high up off the glass. Lead back down to five. Less than two minutes to go. Tony Taylor. They can get a stop here. It's a chance of getting it back to a one possession game, but they can't. As Raymond Morgan continues his brilliant game that he's had so far, he's up to 18. Eight for 10 from the field for Raymond Morgan. Baldasso for three, count it. They are not going away here at Bologna. The lead is back to four. Three for five from three-point range now for Tommaso Baldasso. And here's Mbai. Now Tony Taylor. Taylor, difficult-looking shot, offensive rebounds. Few little up fakes and gets it to go. Great work from Raymar Morgan again. Got the offensive rebound, put the two back. And every time you think Bologna are beginning to pile on the pressure, Pinar Kasiaka respond with a two or three of their own as Bologna called timeout. One minute and six seconds left in this game. <laughs>
Well, he's done his best, Dario Hunt. 18 points, seven for 13 from the field. There's just over a minute to go. And Bologna find themselves six points down. Looking to try and start fresh out of that timeout with a three, but throws up an air ball and a chance for Pinar Karsiaka to maybe put this game to bed if they can find a two or a three here and get that lead to eight. It would be a long way back with just 40 odd seconds to go. Taylor drives inside and I think Pinar Karsiaka have managed to keep hold of it here. Last touch obviously off Bologna. So they will keep it with about five seconds left on the shot clock. And this time a timeout has been called by the home side. Hello? Can you hear me? So the referees just want to have watch, please, the bond. a little Give look at this. So just to make sure that the last touch was off a Bologna shirt. This angle will tell okay, them more. Hand -hand oh, fine, finally, this is white ball. Certainly okay. looked as though it was uh, Dario Hunt who just knocked it out of the hands. So there is confirmation. It is a white ball. And Karsiaka called timeouts. I think Kufek Sarika knows that this possession here could well just see off the threat of Fortitudo Bologna. They've got five seconds left on the shot clock. Chance to make it an eight or a nine point game. Straight into the hands of Amatumbai. And Bai makes the jump shot. And the lead is up to eight. It's a long way back for Fortitudo Bologna with just 40 seconds left in this game. And Matumbai, 12 points, nine assists, and three rebounds for him today. Here is Baldasso. He's had a good game himself, 13 points, shot the three really well to try and hit a three here at our Bologna. And uh, Hunt just can't quite keep the ball in bounds. 28 seconds in the game. Karsiaka up by eight. Tony Taylor. Another three, oh, it's on the way and another three goes down. It's a Matumbai again. What an end to this game he has had. 
The lead is now up to 11. And we've got 12.4 seconds to go. It looks as though Fortitudo Bologna's Basketball Champions League is just beginning to become to a rather premature conclusion. Last possession for Bologna into Sabatini. Sabatini throws it up, can't get it to go. The buzzer will go. And Pinar Kasiaka have the win on their home court. It's an important win for Pinar Kasiaka. Unfortunately, it means that for Ticciuto, Bologna can no longer qualify for the playoffs. It finishes Pinar Kasiaka 80 for Ticciuto, Bologna 69. Karsiaka just shot the ball better, 54% from two-point range compared to 38. Both of them 11 for 25 from three-point range. They out-rebounded Bologna, they out-assisted them. And really, they looked in control throughout this game, did Pinar Karsiaka. They led by as many as 14 in that third quarter. You've got to give Bologna credit. They carried on going. Morgan led the way with 20 for Karsiaka. And it was Dario Hunt who did most of the damage for Bologna. He had 18. He was supported, though, by the likes of Withers and Palumbo and Baldasso. These two teams will meet again in a week's time back in Italy. They will play the reverse fixture. Of course, it will mean that Bologna won't really be playing for anything but pride. Pino Kasiaka have gone a long way, though, to booking their spot in this season's Basketball Champions League playoffs. Thanks for your company this evening. That's uh, all we have for you from uh, Turkey. And we hope to see you in Italy in a week's time for the reverse fixture here when Pinar Kasiaka will be looking to try and book their spot in the playoffs. Plenty more action to come later this evening, though. But for now, from all of us here in Turkey, we say good night.